Namaste fam, Wolf Gore here, and I'm out for a little hike and some time on the river. Here's the little bridge right there. There's the big bridge back there. The big bridge is where I'm heading. And uh, yeah, that's the Forest Hill Bridge from the movie Triple X, if you've ever seen that. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll do a little bit more recording once I get under there. It's pretty trippy to look up and see that thing. It's fucking huge. All right, see you guys in a minute. And there be my swimming hole. That is Clark's Hole. It's about a two or three mile hike from where you have to park, but boy is it worth it. And I cannot wait to get there. Well, I got to do a little swimming, but there is like no privacy out here. Back in my day, this spot, nobody used to know about it. This is, this is a little area called Clark's Hole, as I mentioned before. And shit, man, it used to be quiet. There used to be like maybe one or two groups out here. Maybe one group on Monkey Rock, which is right down the road. Now it's just packed with kids too. Ugh. Don't bring your kids to a private swimming hole. It's for adults, not for kids. Kids are annoying, they're loud. Anyways, I can't seem to find any privacy to record a vlog, so I'm just gonna do it on the trail. And uh, yeah, swimming was nice though. It's absolutely beautiful out. And I'm pretty sure there are some drunk rednecks behind me making a bunch of noise, so that's a thing. Well fam, I did have kind of a, uh, a vlog topic in mind today. I'm not really sure how to approach it exactly, uh, but it has been something on my mind for a while, for I'd say about the past year, since right around the time I quit Starbucks, if any of you uh, OGs remember that period in my life. And uh, the topic that I kind of want to talk about is like spirituality, but I don't want to confuse that with religion. I am not religious. I was born, well, not exactly born, but I was raised Christian, and I got away from all of that when I was about 12, 13, somewhere around there. Around the times my parents split up, I was just like, nah, this ain't for me. So yeah, not religious, not big on religion in general. Not to say that I'm opposed to people being religious or religions or anything, you know, I'm not trying to take a super hard stance on that. But uh, it doesn't match me personally. I'm a bit of a lone wolf. Uh, it's just sort of in my nature and following somebody else's dogma is just not, not my thing. It just doesn't sit well with me. But yes, I was, uh, I was very atheist for quite a few years, over a decade. Probably about 15 years, I was pretty atheist. And then last year, um, I had something of a spiritual awakening. It's the only way that I could describe it. And I'd be lying to you if I said that drugs weren't involved. I wouldn't say that they were the cause of it, uh, but they were involved. Woo. Howdy. Howdy. Just almost got ran over by a bicycle. But yeah, and uh, you know, I, I don't claim to know anything about, you know, God, religion or spirituality or anything like that. I just know what I felt. And I know that for a long time I felt very, very alone. And uh, I sort of reveled in that and used that an excuse to be mad at the Christian church and stuff like that. But at some point, 
I grew out of that, and that point was last year. And, you know, I wanted to talk about it on the channel at that time, but I didn't really have much of a following, and I didn't know how to bring up the topic, and I wasn't sure if I ever wanted to bring, you know, politics or spirituality or religion or any of that type of conversation onto my channel. But at this point, that is something that I'm comfortable doing, as long as we're not, you know, raging at each other. But this is more just about me sharing something that's a really huge aspect of my life with you guys, because you guys mean so much to me. And I know that this won't be of interest to everybody, but still, I want to share that. So yeah, I had something of a spiritual awakening about a year ago, and I was reminded of that yesterday. Today is Sunday, what, the 7th or something? Well, it's Sunday. And uh, at any rate, I was reminded of that yesterday. Something that I struggle with is anxiety and I've had it really bad at points in the past and it just it really came back at me yesterday for like no apparent reason I think I was just pushing myself too hard I recorded like five videos including the Tide Pods Pro video which actually you probably haven't seen yet but I put a ton of work into that it was like 60 different takes four different scenes spent like half the day editing it I think I just overstressed myself and it sort of expressed itself in the form of some nasty anxiety. And in that moment of anxiety, I felt the need for something, some sort of comfort, and I just didn't have that anywhere in my life yesterday. I pretty much run solo. I'm not really very connected to many people outside of this community in my life right now. Um, I don't really go to my parents for that kind of thing, or my family, or my friends. And so I wasn't really sure. Ooh, Little Creek. Splash, splash, splash. Oh, that feels nice on my feet, actually. My other foot wet, that feels good. Little Creek. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't really sure what to do. And uh, after just kind of freaking out internally for a couple hours, I'm just wanting it to stop, I felt myself being drawn back to, uh, well, Jesus, in short. And uh, to circle back to a year ago, when I sort of had that spiritual awakening, uh, to make a long story short, I sort of opened up, refound that spiritual door in my mind, and waiting on the other side of that door was Jesus. And he was like, hey, what's up, dude? And I was like, yo. And he was like, hey, I've been missing you. And I was like, are you really Jesus? And he was like, I don't know, but I'm your spiritual guide, so this is what you got. And I was like, oh, okay. Now you might've heard that last part and been like, whoa, dude, you were talking to Jesus? Yes and no, not in a literal sense. Uh, part of me believes, you know, I was just talking to myself in my head in a sort of meditative moment and just connecting with myself or the universe on a spiritual level, I don't know. I'm not saying that I was speaking to the dead spirit of the man who lived 2,000 years ago, but that is what my sort of spiritual guide felt like to me, Jesus. And you know, maybe, maybe it was just because I was raised believing in the teachings of Jesus, but yeah. So I sort of, I found Jesus again, because I had lost touch with Jesus and uh, again, I don't want that to come across as me saying, hey, I'm a Christian, you know, fucking come join the church, you know, blah, 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 blah. I'm not pushing that stuff on you guys. I'm not going to be doing that in my videos. You know, this is just me telling you where I'm at spiritually. I want to be very clear about that. And yeah, yesterday I remembered what I went through a year ago when I was also going through a really hard time and I sort of found Jesus and it helped me lot mentally and spiritually and that happened to me again yesterday and that was just something I think I really needed I just needed something bigger than myself to connect to something to sort of pull me out of my head out of my life and my problems and my fears and my doubts and my concerns and that's what spirituality and Jesus did for me and I am very very grateful for that whether it's just something in my head or it's something far more literal, 
I'm just grateful because I was not having a good day. And uh, that's just something I wanted to share with you guys because it made a difference in my life and maybe it'll make a difference in one of your lives someday, you know? Maybe I'm, I'll plant a little seed here with this vlog. I mean, these don't take that much effort to make. And if I can help somebody through a hard time, moreover, if Jesus could, or spirituality in general could, then that's very, very worth the small amount of effort that this took. And I wanted to share that with you guys and, and just to continue to push myself to be more open about more and more personal things like spirituality, you know, sexuality, just emotions, my past, my hopes for the future. And those are just things that I want to share with you guys and, uh, and take the time to think through myself. Well, I'm back at the main road and we sort of, I think, got the point across. If I think of anything else that I really wanted to say, I guess I will uh, talk about it in the car. But I love your guys' faces. I do a beard heart. But I have access to zero of my hands right now. Woo, 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 woo. Other hands busy too. And I love your faces. And I hope you found this enlightening. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.